What's going on YouTube? Trent Hale here, and this is day four of the bulk. Today's workout is going to be the back workout, so it's going to be all the pulling motions, both your lower back, like your deadlifts, and your upper back for your lat pull downs, bent over barbell rows, and etc. So I'm going to start this one mile run real quick, and then I'm going to get after it. For the weighted pull-ups today, I'm using the 52.9 pound kettlebell, which is a, it's a TRX extension strap. I just have it ran through the kettlebell and wrapped around my waist to make a weight belt to do weighted pull-ups. I wanna take a second, guys, to talk about the deadlift and why I'm doing what I'm doing with it. So I came off of an injury rather recently, probably about a month ago, and I haven't been able to deadlift in about a month, so I'm taking it a little lighter than I typically would. And something I'm working on is making sure my form's good so I don't end up with another back injury. So as I'm watching the video of me deadlifting, I realize that I'm rocking forward with the deadlift, shifting the weight onto my toes. You can see on some of the first sets of the deadlift, my heel completely comes off the ground and that's not good at all. So I drop back down the weight to 225 to work on form and I'm shifting the weight to my heels and getting a, a stronger pull. It just feels a little different than I'm used to because I've been deadlifting a little wrong pretty much my whole lifting time. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit of an adjustment plus the legs are still sore from the previous workouts. But uh, it's always important to take a moment to evaluate what you're doing. See if you can make improvements to your form or your lifts and do those improvements before you end up with an injury. That's the end of day four of the bulk. So we just finished the back workout. I'm gonna take at least one, maybe two days off before I start that same rotation over again. So I'll be starting with legs in a day or two. I can take a little bit of a break because my legs are still completely destroyed. So we'll let them recover a little bit, let the rest of the body heal up. I've done some powerlifting style workouts before and usually the thing that stops me from continuing growth is injuries. It's usually my joints. My elbow will give out my wrist, so I'm hoping if I just give it a, a good downtime between rotations, it'll have enough time to heal up and continue to grow without becoming injured. I'm gonna continue to post similar workout videos over the next week or two while I continue the bulk, and then after about a week or two, I'm probably gonna have to change the programming up just a hair to continue the growth. After doing the same thing for a week or two, your body kinda gets used to it, so then I'll have to change it up just a little bit, little bits and pieces here and there to continue ensuring that I'm gonna grow. If you guys like the video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content.